Hi, I am making a pizza wrap today. Something totally new. It's gluten-free, vegan, grain-free, what have you. I love the flavors of pizza, but it's a hard thing to make, right? If you're eating the way that I eat. No pizza crust, no cheese, that kind of thing, right? So what I'm going to do first, I'm gonna cook one thing. So if you eat a raw vegan diet, then you can use these same ingredients and just marinate. Um, you can even put in the dehydrator to speed it up. But I'm going to be cooking a zucchini that I'm going to make flavored like pepperoni. So that's the first thing I'm going to do because I want it to cook while we do the rest of the things. It's going to look a little bit complicated, but you'll see we're using all the same ingredients kind of over and over, and it comes together very quickly. I'll do it almost in real time. I will speed up when I'm using the blender. So the first thing I have here is a zucchini or courgette, depending on where you live. I'm going to cut off just the ends and you could thinly slice it or you could use a mandolin. I do like using a mandolin and I did not grab my guard, but I do recommend using a guard so that you don't cut your fingers. I cut the end of my thumb off um, with my very first mandolin. So you can see I have these very thinly sliced zucchini and this is going to be my pepperoni, which pepperoni is not shaped like this. It would be better to do the circles, wouldn't it? Hmm, that's what I should have done. Anyway, we're doing strips. So I have my baking sheet here lined with parchment paper, and I'm just going to lay those on there. So let me finish slicing these. So zucchini is full of minerals and um, we think of it as not really having much nutrition when you compare it to other green vegetables like kale or broccoli maybe it's not as nutrient rich but it's very hydrating and it is in season right now in the summertime so we can have a pizza that is actually kind of cooling and hydrating as I get to the ends I'm gonna watch my fingers and I could leave this piece off because it's just the skin. It might not be as tasty anyway. Okay, so here are my strips. Let me move the mandolin and bring up the sheet here. So I'm going to make up a sauce that's going to give it kind of a pepperoni flavor. Um, you could use this for bacon too if you want a zucchini bacon. You could probably slice it a little bit thinner. This is close to an eighth of an inch thick. Um, I've seen people slice them where they are like paper thin, where you can even like see through them. And that's gonna cook really fast. Mine's gonna be have a little bit of a meatier texture. Okay, so here are our zucchini strips. We need to make the marinade. So if I were going to put it in the dehydrator or marinate it all day instead of baking, then I would have put it all in something like a loaf pan. Um, you could just layer them in like a glass uh, bread pan and put all the marinade in there and leave it all day, stick it in the dehydrator, whatever. I would put it flat on the dehydrator tray so that it gets kind of crispier and has that chewy texture like you have in a pepperoni. So the first thing I have is coconut aminos. Um, so coconut aminos may be new to you. Um, it is organic coconut blossom nectar water and sea salt. So I'm going to put in, oh, it's a brand new one. I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of coconut aminos. And I'm going to put in a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And I always buy apple cider vinegar with the mother. You can see the cloudiness on the bottom. That means it's unpasteurized. This one actually says unpasteurized um, because I want those natural enzymes. So just a tablespoon. That will help break down the cells in the zucchini to give it a more tender um, texture. I'm also going to be adding a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder. These are from the Allium family. There's quercetin in here. We've heard a lot about that since 2020. I'm going to be adding a teaspoon of basil. I'm almost out of basil. Yes, as a matter of fact, I'm just gonna use all of that basil. And to give it the pepperoni flavor or bacon, depending on what you're making, I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon 
of smoked paprika. Some people you buy mesquite powder and you could use mesquite powder too. But you want that smokiness um, to help give it more of a pepperoni type flavor. So I'm just going to whisk this together. The wrap I'm using today, I, I got from a recipe book, canned salads from Rissa from Raw Food Romance. We are not connected in any way, but I want to give her credit for the wraps I'm going to be using. But you could use a collard wrap, any kind of big leaf, or a grain-free wrap, um, whatever you would like to use. Um, in Marissa's handbook salad, she does have recipes to make things like pepperoni. Hers are using mushrooms, which we also like on pizza. And um, this one is just a little bit different from hers. Okay, let me see if I can put them a little bit closer together to help me spread my marinade on top. And once again, I, you could always marinate it all day if you want to. I just decided to do this last minute. And so, here we go. Um, take my fork out. And I'm just using a spoon. If you have a brush, you could just brush on the marinade. Um, if you eat salt, you may want to sprinkle some salt on top to also help break down those cell walls. It helps to dehydrate the zucchini so it cooks a little bit faster. Okay, so you can see I'm just using the back of the spoon to kind of spread it out a little bit more. And then I'm going to flip them over. You can see it's all red. Flip it over. I really wish I had cut them into circles like pepperoni. I don't know why I didn't think to do that. It's the perfect thing to do, right? Being zucchini. So paprika is full of antioxidants. Um, our onion and garlic has the allium and the quercetin. What else do we have? Basil. So basil, all of your aromatic herbs like basil um, are very antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. So I love to include those as much as possible. And in all of my meals, I try to add color. That's your phytonutrients. That's your vitamins and minerals that help with all of your cellular processes. We so many people look for supplements. These companies do a great job of marketing because they can really um, make us want to buy all these different supplements. So we get things like quercetin and, and all of this, but we can get them from our foods. We just need to make sure we're eating these rainbow colored foods. I'm going to flip them over one more time and just try to use up all of my marinade. So I have lots of flavor here. Um, if I could use eggplant, eggplant's a great one. Eggplants and mushrooms, they're going to soak up a little bit more than the zucchini. And so that's probably why I have a little extra marinade here. Yes, so in my wrap today, I have the zucchini, which is green. I'm also going to be using lettuce, but spinach is great on a pizza. So you could use spinach, right? Or you could use a green wrap. Use a romaine as your wrap. And that's a great way to get your green. We're going to be making a tomato sauce, which is red, right? Pizza sauce. I'm going to wash my fingers. Um, I don't have orange, but unless we count the paprika. The paprika can be our orange. I'm using yellow bell peppers for our yellow. I was thinking about putting lemon juice in our sauce, but I didn't. And then for our purple, there's actually some purple in a salad mix that I'm going to be putting inside. Okay, so our zucchini pepperoni is cooking. And the next thing I want to do is make our cheese. So I'm going to make that in one of these carafes here. I always put water in first just to make sure those blades get moving. If I put in um, nuts or seeds or something hard first, they may get lodged underneath the blades. Um, so for this recipe, I am using about a third of a cup of water, a half a cup of cashews, but you could use any nuts or seeds. I want to make sure my mic's working. You could use any nuts and seeds um, here. I just like cashews because they're so nice and creamy. 
Um, then to this, I want to add about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And then I'm going to be adding my flavorings. Now I do eat nutritional yeast. Some people um, say it's um, controversial. Um, I use this container, but I actually buy mine in bulk. And mine does not have the added B vitamins. And so I think that's something that some people look at. Anyway, if you do use nutritional yeast, put in about two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Okay, so then I'm going to add salt. If you don't need salt, you can leave it out. You could put in some dulse to give it a little bit of flavor, but you don't want to put too much dulse in there because you don't want it to taste seaweed, a seaweed, have a seaweed flavor. So I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of salt in here. And then I'm going to put in a half of a bell pepper, which sounds really weird. Um, but it gives it a little bit of sweetness and it also is going to give it a little bit of the color so it looks more like a cheese. So I'm just going to cut this into pieces, throw it in the blender with the cashews, and now I'm ready to blend it all up to make our cheese. Alright, so here is our cheese sauce. I'll pour it into this jar so you can see it a little bit better. Here is the cheese for our wrap. Can't have pizza without cheese. So there we go. And then we need to have a marinara. So the next thing I'm going to do is I get the other carafe. I could always wash that one out. And to this, I'm going to add tomatoes. So I have four tomatoes. I'm just going to rough chop them and I'm throwing them in first because they will blend up really easy against the blade. I'm not adding any water. If I were making a marinara for like uh, zoodles or some sort of pasta, then I probably would add a little bit of water to, uh, to thin it out a little bit. This one, I actually could take the seeds out to make it a little bit thicker since it is, I want it to be more like a pizza sauce. There is a spot on this tomato that I want to cut off. It's probably fine, but just in case. And number four. To that, I'm going to add the other half of my bell pepper. That's going to add some sweetness. Sometimes tomatoes can have a little bit of an acidic flavor, and this is going to help balance that out. So I'm adding in the bell pepper, just a rough chop. It's just the other half from the cheese. Throw that in there. I have a half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes that I soaked and drained. I'm going to throw those in here. And so then we have to think, okay, what else would we put in a marinara sauce? I like a little bit of heat, so I'm going to put in some cayenne flakes. Ooh, that might be too many, but whatever, right? Um, then I want to add some garlic. So I have some garlic here. I'm going to crush that to get the skins off. So you can see we're almost finished and there really wasn't even a lot of chopping or anything to do. It just comes together really quickly. All right, and then we need some Italian seasoning. So I have some already made here. If you don't, then you just want to combine oregano, basil, maybe a little bit of thyme, a little bit of rosemary. I like to have the cayenne, um, but that's just a great way. So I'm gonna put two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, which is I finished another jar here and we're going to blend it up and see if it needs anything else but i think we are good to go how easy is that okay here is our marinara And I used the yellow bell pepper, so it gave it more of an orange color than red, but that is perfectly acceptable. 
go. I'm going to give it a little taste. I should have tasted it before I poured it out. But I'm going to give it a little taste to see if it needs anything else. But I'm sure it is fine. I'll taste it with this. Yep, tastes like marinara. I didn't taste the uh, cheese. Perfect. Okay, I said I was going to make everything in real time. But it took us just minutes to make the cheese and the marinara. The zucchini is probably still cooking. Yes, it's not quite ready. It smells delicious. While it finishes cooking, I'm going to clean this up. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes and it worked out perfectly because I got a lot of that cleaned up. You can see I didn't move any of the other ingredients. And um, so what do I have? I have the wrap from Raw Food Romance. I just dripped some water on it. That's not a good idea, but we'll see what happens. I have some sliced yellow bell peppers. I have some green onions and I'm using lettuce in my wrap. Like I said, if you don't have a wrap like this, you could use a grain free wrap. There's lots out there. Um, there's coconut wraps. I don't know if that'd be good with pizza, um, but you could use a large romaine leaf. You could use a collard leaf. Just trim the stem. I have another video about that. You can find that one um, in my videos. Um, but I'm using this wrap here, and I wanted to show you um, how easy it is to use. Let me get the zucchini out. Our pepperoni slices. Don't want to burn my hand. Here we go. Okay, so for the wrap, so this ended up cooking for about 15 minutes. For the wrap, I'm just, this is the really cool silicone um, tray that she also recommends that goes in the dehydrator. You can see, oh, I got a little hole in it. Um, she uses a lot of dates in her recipes, which are delicious. But it's a little too sweet for me. I'm not used to eating sweet. And so she says in there, if you substitute, it might not turn out. And so you can see I have a little bit of a hole there. Um, but I do have another recipe for a wrap also in my YouTube. Um, one of my recipes. And you could use that one. I think hers just folds up a little bit neater than mine. Anyway, let me move this out of the way. Look at this nice wrap I have. And let me grab a plate. Mm, it smells so good. I'm really excited. I'm going to lay down my wrap. She says put it sticky side up, which is what I have. I'm going to put the cheese on first. You know what? It might be better if I put it on back on this tray because my plate is a little concave. All right. I'm spreading on the cheese. Got my chef coat all wet, washing the dishes. Doesn't that always happen? All right, first the cheese. Spread that on. So excited that I'm eating pizza. All right, now I'm going to put my bacon on. I'm going to be rolling it this way, so I don't know if that'll work better or not. Pepperoni. I'll do one more half. Well, I'll do this little scrawny one. All right. Then I'm going to turn it, she says, Rissa says in her book, to keep it shaped like a diamond to fold it up. I'm going to add my lettuce. You can leave that out if you want. Put spinach in there. Spinach goes on pizzas. Um, but I'm adding the purple leaves because I don't have any purple in my dinner tonight. I have red, orange, yellow, green. I need some purple. I do like to have cherries for dessert, so we'll have that deep red too later. One of my secrets. All right, so now I'm going to put on my peppers. Those beautiful yellow peppers. Lots of those. And then I need some green. I'm putting green onion because I like onion. If you like olives, you could put some olives on there. 
and now I need to put on my marinara. So you don't want the liquid to hit the wrap if you're using a wrap like this. So I'm gonna need to put more leaves on here or I need to just serve it with the marinara, kind of like when you get um, a stromboli or something, they always have it on the side. I'm gonna put my marinara, see it's nice and thick. If I were making a spaghetti sauce, I would add some water to it um, just to give it a little more, make it more liquidy. This is nice and thick. It's perfect for a wrap. Um, if you're using, what I like to do is I would heat it on the, zuc the zoodles to make uh, zucchini noodles for pasta. And then the zoodles release water. Or if I'm making lasagna, this is perfect for a lasagna, zucchini lasagna. Um, or eggplant lasagna, they're going to release some liquids as well. Okay, so for this wrap, you fold the sides in first. And recording myself doing this might not be a great idea, but here we go. Pushing in all the vegetables, folding it, rolling it all up. Looks like a giant egg roll. Looks delicious. Transfer it to a plate. Let's see, I can pick it up. How fabulous is this? Oh, so my liquid's coming out. Move everything out of my way. Luckily, my plate, my uh, pan cooled. I didn't burn my hand there. Going to attempt to cut this in half for you so you can see. Maybe I should show you first. So here is our pizza wrap before I cut it, just in case I mess up, right? Saw, saw, saw. Perfect. Here is our pizza wrap. I'm going to serve it with some marinara on the side. Put it right here. Yes, this is going to be fabulous. I could sprinkle a little bit of nooch on top. I could put some cheese on the side. I could sprinkle some oregano on top. That's a great idea. Put some in the sauce. Mmm. So here is the pizza wrap. It looks delicious. Looks like Rissa's, but mine's a little bit different. It is her recipe for the wrap, but look inside there, and I can even hold it. So make sure you go and check out her ebook. Um, but here is my filling. Um, if you like this recipe, let me know. Um, so you can use the cheese for lasagna. If you're making a lasagna, then you put marinara and then thin layers of zucchini or eggplant or whatever vegetable. I've even used strips of turnips, which sounds weird, but when you warm it, it gets rid of that bitter flavor. And then you layer your sauce and your cheese and your vegetables. Put it in a dehydrator if you want it to be raw. Put it in the oven if you want to cook it. This is also great on zoodles. You can make a lasagna, not lasagna, but uh, like a spaghetti with zoodles or sweet potato noodles or carrot noodles with a marinara and top it with the cheese and the vegetables. Also delicious. Also delicious. Anyway, if you make this recipe, I want to know. I'd love to hear from you. Um, please comment, hit like, and share. Subscribe to my channel and make sure that I hear from you. Enjoy!